Sam and Tommy. Jabes. Yes. We're, I think we're out of shows at this point. We've watched yeah. everything. We've watched all the things. If you go, if you like start dipping into the Hulu, your Hulu pond, mm-hmm. you know you've gone through everything else. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You've gone through all the HBO shows, Netflix, Showtime, everything. And now you're like, okay, what's on Hulu? Pam and Tommy. Pop up a picture of Pam and Tommy uh, from the show. Oh, he's got it already. You got it already? Look, boom. Is that them? Yeah. The, the actors? Yeah. Yeah. This is how good it has been. These two people playing these characters. Holy shit. I know. Like the Pam Anderson accent and everything. Because both of them sound, act, everything. Like they're phenomenal the as, Tommy, as these two I mean, characters. Sebastian Stan is so good that it's really annoying because I do find Tommy Lee in general very annoying. But that's the so that's he, the issue you he have. He is though. doing it so well that I'm like, this is a lot of Tommy Lee, and it sounds exactly like him. Acts, I mean, they're both really, really good. But having worked with him in, in in real life and all that other shit, like that's how he is. So like, how somebody can put so up with that dude because he's annoying as shit. Yeah. And that's what it is. Yeah. And you're almost like, oh, my God, is he really this annoying? Like, I bet he is. Tommy it Lee, it, yes, he is. feels like it's over the top. Yeah. But I feel like that's how Tommy Lee really he 100% is. He 100% is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the, the whole shit, right? Um, but her, because she looks nothing like Pamela Anderson in real life. All the prosthetics they're using and everything else, like, the huge fake tits look real. Yeah. The teeth. All of it. The lips. It's more, but really, honestly, as long as you get, like, the voice and the essence well, like, everything else sort of, because if she wasn't good, all of that shit would look cheesy. The voice is the hardest thing to get. So, like, the closest I can remember somebody looking like the characters, right, but without hearing their voice, besides these two, was uh, the Tupac um, biopic. But then that dude opened his mouth, and he was not only a shitty actor, but he sounded nothing like Tupac. Right. And These then, two people sound identical to Pam and Tommy Lee, where you're just yeah. like, holy shit, I, I feel like I'm watching their live. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's pretty goddamn good. The only problem I have is this is the first streaming outlet that I can remember that is going week by week with live shows. So, like, we've caught up. And now mm-hmm. we have to wait, like, another three days for the next one to come out. Who like, always did that? Did what? they really? Hulu has always done that, and Disney Plus does that. Gross. Why? Why? It's people, shot already. People eat it up. I don't it's know, man. It's streaming. People eat it up. We all want to fucking binge. Yeah, dude. I'm not. I'm not. Like that's the my complaint with HBO too is where it's like like the Righteous Gemstones. I want to gun through that entire season. I don't want to wait week by week on, for a half hour show. I don't know why on HBO it still feels okay. Because there's still a channel on TV. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. ones where there's a channel, Paramount, HBO, Showtime, things like that. Uh-huh. You're like, oh, yeah, that's how it always was, right? So it kind of feels still okay. But if you're straight streaming, Netflix, Hulu, things like that, you were never, you don't have a TV channel. Right. But the three shows that we're down to are all weekly bullshit now where I'm like, God damn it, dude. Like, the only three that we really look forward to is Righteous Shamsons, the Pam and Tommy thing. And that's only, like, two more episodes, I think. And 1883. Yeah. And 1883 is, is the same thing. Well, because it's on an actual network. Do you know what I mean? We're getting it on the streaming afterwards. Yeah. See? I think 83 is streaming only. Streaming only? Yeah, it's Paramount it's Plus. It's not on Paramount? No, it's, no. On, uh, it's not on Paramount Network. It's just on really? Paramount Plus. Yeah. Well, then Shit. give me all of them. God yeah. damn it. Well, so the story behind 1883 is that when the season started, they were not done Got filming, mm. like at all. Filming, editing. Taylor Sheridan yeah, yeah, and all yeah. those motherfuckers were out there literally on a wagon some fucking where in the West. It, it looks real. I mean, look, it's, it's an awesome show and I'm in. Uh, it is, because there's a lot of people, I've seen a lot of posts on Facebook and shit like that where it's like 1883 is better than um, Yellowstone. It's two entirely different shows. All together, so like I, it's hard to compare them. I know that they're they're kind of couching it that they're all in the same universe with the same family and shit, but like you're 150 years apart. It's different. 
I think they just gave themselves a lot of runway to do more <laughs> seasons. Right? Oh, yeah. You start at 150, then you can get closer and closer and closer Cause, year after year. Uh, the, the one that's popping up lately is uh, Jimmy, the, the character from uh, Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, I, I hate that character, too. It's my least favorite character in Yellowstone. When he joined Taylor the- Taylor loves him. What, what is it? The six Gs or whatever the-, the The sixes. The four sixes. Four sixes, yeah. When he joined that- all I kept thinking was, oh, God damn it. Are they setting this up for another spinoff with fucking Jimmy? That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard, too. And I, was, I looked it up, and I was like, fuck, dude. Have you? They, that is exactly what they're doing. No! And the four sixes, literally Taylor Sheridan bought that entire ranch. It's a real oh, ranch. That's right. And he bought an entire ranch. He just keeps buying up land, and he's building his own just giant studio in Texas, basically. Why not? And he's like a white Texas? Tyler Perry. What? It's it in is Texas. in Texas? Yeah, it's in Texas, yeah. What part? Uh, I'll check that real quick. I'm sure it's like he's like a white known. Tyler Perry. Uh, Oscar Rivera is asking when will I when will I make an appearance on Celebrity Big Brother? I'm not that famous. I'm not that famous to go on Big Brother. I get, you would need to do something, you know? Yeah. Something so else. Four Sixes is in Guthrie, Texas. Looks like it's about an hour outside of Lubbock, so it's out there. All right. It's uh. fucking. It's out there. No dicks land. Yeah. Fucking out there. That one dick why, town. I just need to know why Taylor loves Jimmy so much. I don't know. Why he loves this fucking guy so much. So sometimes in real life, you work with somebody and you really get along with them and you're like, fuck it. I just want to hang out with them all the time. If I have to do this every day for 14 hours a day, I want to do it with my friends. The only, only thing I can think of is that they're friends in real life because... It does not make sense. He's a terrible actor. And, is he uh, a real cowboy? I mean, no, what he's not are a real we, cowboy. What are somebody, we doing? Somebody in the uh, the comments here on YouTube, tell me if you like Jimmy. If you like Jimmy on Nobody Yellowstone, nobody likes Jimmy. I I, th I think I'm so too. But maybe you. I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping on acid, and and it's just us two who hate Jimmy from Yellowstone. No, I mean, you know. And he's always fucking girls on that show where you're just like, dude, you're the last motherfucker that should be having sex with multiple people on that show. It's I don't crazy like a to skinny me. boy, but look, you know, it's like He's coming, bald at like age 28. Back. He's fully bald at 28. Like, and he does this thing with his jaw too where it's like. Now uh, look, anytime Jimmy has an eating scene of any kind, <laughs> I need to turn. Turn the channel or turn away. <laughs> He just, it's just the most. Yeah. Now you're going to be never fixated seen on that. Any, I've Watch never Jimmy seen eats. anybody make such a meal about having a meal. Do you know what I mean? Like that, <laughs> that acting term, like he's really making a meal of it. He's making such a meal about eating a meal. <laughs> Wasn't that the Somebody's whole... saying Justin Jeep is like, I'm still in season two. Doesn't matter, Jeep and Justin. Wasn't it doesn't that matter. Jimmy's always terrible. With uh, fucking Walter's kid and Breaking Bad. As he was always eating cereal. Well, here's yes. the here's the problem though. I think he's yes. in. He's, I think he's mentally retarded in real life though. No, he wasn't mentally retarded. He had like, what was it? A um, physical retardation. No, it was like MS or something. Yeah. Oh well, shit. Yeah, yeah. Still, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, you gotta. He's gotta eat cereal. I don't know why he had to eat cereal. I don't you gotta give the actor something to do. Yeah, yeah. So like that, you're not thinking about whatever sure. you have, right? Sure. So. In the case of Jimmy, unless he has some crazy disease that I don't know about, then I apologize, Jimmy, or the actor who plays Jimmy. Okay, I apologize. Maybe he did. Maybe have like he does cancer have something. a cancer or something, and I don't know about it. Maybe that's how he lost all of his hair at such a young age. I'm not sure. 